Hey, Mark, uh, it is his first television interview since being fired by TCW in December. We're going to talk about that lawsuit in a minute, but let's first talk about the bond, the bond fund performance. Thanks for joining us. Sure. Uh, Double Lines Total Return Bond uh, Fund, it has, since it launched April 6th, done twice as well as TCW in that time frame, three times better than PIMCO. This is a lot of residential mortgage, distressed mortgages. How, how are you getting this sort of performance? Well, it's a combination, Jane, of uh, distressed residential mortgages that are trading as low as 40 or 50 cents on the dollar. And uh, they probably won't return 100, but we think they'll return 60 or 70. And along the way, we're getting an interest rate of 10 or even 12 percent, which helps to drive performance. Also, we have about a third of the fund in long-term government guaranteed credit, which has done quite well since April 6. The yield curve has uh, rallied and long rates have come down on all of this eurozone you know, noise and flight to quality, and we've also had gains on that. So basically, all parts of the portfolio are clicking on all cylinders. But you're killing the competition. These are smart guys at other funds, too. How are you picking these mortgages? Well, we have a team that uh, had been one of the best teams of the decade uh, all the way through the OOs, and, uh, you know, we've always had very good performance. Uh, what we do is we sift through the market uh, very diligently with uh, about 45 fixed income professionals focused. Uh, for the total return bond fund on residential mortgages and uh, we're basically trying to buy the very cheapest part of the market. I, I used to manage 75 billion dollars yes. and I always felt like my mandate was to try to buy the cheapest 10 percent of the market every day. Now that we're managing a little over three billion dollars at double line, we're trying to buy the cheapest one half of one percent of the market and that's cheaper than the cheapest 10 percent so our investors are benefiting from our uh, from our activity. You've gone from 75 billion to 610 million and I'm sure TCW would like some of the fees you're making now. Let's talk about this lawsuit. Uh, they claim everything in this lawsuit from breaking comp company policy by having in your office pot, hardcore porn, sexual devices, to the legally more serious charges of stealing information on every client that you were managing, uh, lying to clients, stealing proprietary research, taking out boxes, you or your co-defendants, it's alleged. That is a lot of smoke. H why shouldn't I believe there's not some fire there? Well, unfortunately, TCW has chosen to uh, use a lawsuit in an attempt to compete against a fledgling firm. All of their charges are spurious and uh, malicious and they'll be proven over time. Uh, it's pretty clear that what drives the performance and what drives what we do is the people. And this idea that somehow there is proprietary information that is uh, responsible for my long-term track record or responsible for what Double Line is doing is, is foolish. Uh, we've always used to advertise at TCW that our most important asset was the people and they'll go down the elevator every single day. And the people at Double Line, we just use a basic blocking and tackling, basic research, We've never, we've never liked black boxes or any kind of a whiz-bang type of technology. You say none of this is true. No, none of it's true. At the same time, you want to recoup over potentially a billion dollars in fees from them that you say are current or potential profits on the fees that you started, or the funds you started there. If they drop your law, this lawsuit, will you drop yours? Well, from the very beginning, I wanted a cooperative uh, departure from TCW. From the day I was fired, I wanted to settle and have an amicable type of uh, disengagement. Uh, TCW, I think, felt that they would be able to uh, basically confiscate all of the fruits of the labor uh, that my team had uh, accomplished over time and just save a lot of economics. Will you settle? I would settle with TCW, yes. And what's your outlook? I know we have to wrap it up, but we're going to have more on CNBC.com. That's the nice thing about the website. What's your outlook on the market right now? I think the market is very... Uh, uh, People are very pessimistic for the short term uh, on both the euro, which has collapsed, and also on the stock market, which is tied together with that. I think for the short term, uh, the bears are going to be disappointed and that the market will hang in there. But I do think that the economy is going to run into trouble in 2011 uh, with tax increases and the pulling away of stimulus. And so ultimately, I think the next big move in uh, risk assets is going to be lower. So I, I think I've been advocating at a, about 1150 on the S&P 500 is a good liquidation point for a strong hand investors that were able to buy back in the below 1,000 category. Jeffrey Gundlach from Double Line, thank you. And by the way, guys, he has also said before that he thinks uh, managers of huge amounts of assets, like maybe PIMCO, should be subject to any too-big-to-fail litigation or uh, legislation. Back to you.